Alright, hey guys, this is TechLPC with another video. Um, I'm sorry for not making another video. Uh, I've been busy making another video for another account, which we are trying to get a lot of subscribers on. Um, and our goal is to become a partner. So if you guys want to check it out, just check out our channel and we'll have it posted there. But for now, I'm going to be showing you uh, in this video how to get uh, Mac cursors on your Windows XP machine. So as you can see right now, I have the cursor. It's a Mac cursor. So what you want to do to get this cursor is download the file that's in the description. And once you download it, you should get this file. It's a WinRAW file which means that I just compressed it so it become a smaller file so you need to extract this file open it extract to desktop alright so once you do that you want to close that out and you should get a folder exactly like that but it's just a folder so now what you want to do is you want to find a location on your computer where you're gonna keep this and not delete this folder because that's very important so what I've decided to do is keep it in my documents. So as you can see right there, uh, I kept it. And once you do that, you want to go to Start, Control Panel, and Mouse Properties. Once you get to Mouse Properties, you want to click the pointer, Pointers tab. And as you see, my um, is uh, the mouse setting is set to default as a Mac um, you have to make it like I did uh, and I'll show you how to do that now so first what you want to do is select the one that you don't ever use so I I'm gonna see let's see um, I never use a dinosaur one I don't know I just don't like this one so what you want to do is um, whatever uh, tab that you highlight like the normal select, help select, busy, working in background, precision select, uh, that's what's going to change. So for, we're gonna wanna, we want to go down the line. So you want to highlight normal select and you want to click browse here. Once you click browse, you want to go to the folder that you um, downloaded. So in this case, I have mine in my documents, Mac cursors. And you should see the cursors. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to match up with whatever the name is. So for this one we have normal select. You want to find the one that says normal select and it's right here. You want to click open and now you have a normal Mac select cursor right there. But the rest are different so you want to change everything else and how to do that you go to the next uh, highlight and click browse and that is a help select so you want to look for the one that says help select and click open and you want to do that all the way down the list the, it has everything so now once you do that you should get like all these and you want to name it Mac so you go whatever uh, it shouldn't be named Mac it should be named something else so you want to go to save as and save it as a Mac and once you do that you want to click apply and OK and you should have a Mac cursor on your Windows XP machine now if you delete your folder that you kept it in uh, you'll still have the cursor until you restart or turn off your computer after you start it up again it'll go back to the default cursor that it was so you wouldn't want to delete it and thank you guys for watching this video and subscribe thank you